She's in a mess over VHS. It was the late fee that became a felony. <laughs> I could do this for a living, you know, as a crime narrator. A former Oklahoma resident, aren't they all, recently learned she'd been charged with felony embezzlement over a videotape she failed to return in 1999. That's over 21 late years of adult fees. Late fees? Adult fees? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Which comes to $25 million, Doctor. <laughs> Whatever you, you are. That's according to something I just made up. Where am I in this? But one question remains. If she doesn't rewind, will she face the death penalty? <laughs> the woman says she only became aware of the charges after getting married in Texas. That happens. And being unable to change her name. Oh. Apparently, the county clerk ran her name through Ask Jeeves. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out... The Oklahoma store she rented from doesn't even exist anymore. And what was the tape, you ask? Sabrina the Teenage Witch, <laughs> who's now 53. According to the woman, it was actually her roommate with young children that rented the video. <laughs> Same ex excuse I use when renting Pippi Longstockings. <laughs> but once again, children are the source of all evil. We've been talking about this for a month. The only show that talks about this. The charges have since been dropped, but it got me thinking about all the tapes I failed to return over the years because I just wanted to hold on to them forever. For example, Barbie and the Diamond Castle, <laughs> one of my favorites. Oh, and then there's Barbie, a fairy secret. I won't tell you the secret, but it is mind blowing. <laughs> And then there's Tinkerbell and the Grand Fairy Rescue. Mm, that was exciting. And of course, Deliverance. So, I forgot to return that one on purpose. So, Joe, um, have you ever been charged with a crime? Greg, I was once uh, charged with loitering, but I was acquitted when I convinced the jury I was actually lurking at the time. <laughs> I, I do want to point out, uh, nice job, Oklahoma, uh, catching your accused felons. <laughs> like, we just have to wait till they try to get married in Texas for, for them to pick up. Yes. They figured he'd come, she'd have to get married sometime. And they have, they, they have a lot of good communication with other states in case this happens. Because, yeah, uh, not so much the murderers, but if there's anybody with an unreturned VHS tape who's getting married, put us on high alert. Um, <laughs> It, it's so confusing. I'm, there've got to be tens of thousands of videos yes. outstanding. Oh, are you trying to cover yourself, Doctor? No, I, I want to. I want to declare guilt right now. I mean, yeah. I don't want them to find me. I'll tell you, I, my kids had some video games. I'm sure we didn't turn back. Listen, don't do the crime. Can't do the time. I, 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 you know, what, what are we if, in for? But did he, like, I, I, it's been a long time, Jonathan. But why would I? You were a priest at the time. Were you renting movies? <laughs> were you allowed to? Rent movies? Not the type that you were obviously renting. <laughs> uh, because you you saw you saw that VHS tape and immediately Adult. You went adult on us. It was uh, very awkward. Um, I didn't understand it, but then I looked over and I saw Cat, uh, Kat and she kind of filled me in. She I explained like, it. Yeah, explained and it was helpful. But um, no, I, I've never rented a VHS. Uh, no, really? I don't think so. What would you That is incredible. Do with that was my entire like 80s and 90s yep. was yep. like going there, which leads me to this obvious question. I could talk about this for hours, Kat. W wasn't there a way that like, didn't they have a deposit? I always remember there would be a deposit and if you didn't turn it in, they would just charge you or something. Yeah. I don't know, I'm concerned. You're the expert on this. You flew to Blockbuster on our dime. I, <laughs> I did. Um, I also, I, I guess I'm just confused. Like, I, I just, if this applies also to like library That was your defense stuff. for every story, we'd be screwed. Yeah, I, well, how do you not know you're a felon? Because I don't know, am I a felon? Like, I don't know. And that's concerning because I like had a lot of late fle fees at a library in one state that I lived in. Yeah. And then I moved. Oh, and it's still there. So am I- Can't go back there. You can't I'm not go back to that what, state. Look, I would have, in, the words, of, in yes. the words of the, like, I didn't pay, uh, the words of the uh, grandmother from Happy Gilmore, I would have, but I didn't have any money. So I moved. Am yeah. I going to? And that was the reason for moving, were the overdue <laughs> fees. There but... were so many fees, and I just went, oh, I'm moving. Why didn't you just return the books? Well, because my <laughs> life was really sad and, like, 
complicated and tumultuous, and I just didn't get around to it. Oh, okay. Here's another. Here's an interesting thing that bothers me about this. If this is the most harmless thing to come out of your past, it's like if somebody came up to me and said, "Greg." We need to talk to you about something that happened in 1999. I would already be halfway up to the roof. <laughs> yeah. And then they go, it's about an overdue VHS tape. And I go, cool. They didn't find out about the film I made with the biker gang. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they did. It did make it to VHS, I'll tell you that much. I, I, I'm with Kat, it's confusing, because I, everyone in this room feels like, well, I must have some outstanding debt. They need to come get me. But God forbid, if the government owes you money. Yes. Then No one's will, there. No, you'll never hear from no them. No one's chasing that down. All right. Up next. Great point, Dr. That's why he's a doctor. We think. <laughs>